Why Croatia make you feel like you stepped into a fairy tale in its architecture, cuisine and the way of life, but also stunning beaches and rich history of course. Place full of beautiful attraction waiting to be discovered. It is a perfect spot for outdoor enthusiasts. This is when island truly comes alive. Okay, so I will shortly introduce myself. I'm from Croatia originally. My surname, Jaric, it's actually on Croatian, it means little goat, which might explain my passion for adventure and like climbing. <laughs> I've been on a mountain bike for a long time and for the last eight years I'm working as a bike guide, professional bike guide. Along being a guide, logistics and bike mechanic, I also organize races and like bike events. And I also race enduro, mostly enduro. My love for adventure, nature and bikes has actually shaped my life my last decade. It all started when I was maybe 12. Here on the screen you can see the picture of an old, it's called Pony, ex-Yugoslavia bike. But through the years the bikes got better, the trails became harder, I had some crashes like every mountain biker and slowly it became a lifestyle. In 2017, I had a chance meeting with the director of the Euro's biggest bike and boat company, which turned out that my hobby becomes my career actually. Since then, I've been exploring guiding and gaining experience as a mountain bike guide and mechanic, eventually becoming the manager of 22 guides last two years. So what are we going to talk about? Some regions we will cover in more detail because I believe they deserve it, while other will be mentioned briefly. I will also share my personal story and how I decided on the structure of my tours. I will walk you through the what I believe it's a perfect itinerary based on my own experience and knowledge of the country. Here is the map of, let's say, Europe and we have Croatia. Croatia is a beautiful small European country. It lies along the Adriatic Sea which is connected with the Mediterranean Sea. It is directly across the Italy, offering a prime location for Mediterranean exploration. All through small in size, Croatia sails borders with several countries, including Slovenia, up north Hungary, then we, when we go east we have Serbia, down there Montenegro, and of course Bosnia and Herzegovina. Why Croatia? Why not? <laughs> Croatia offers a perfect blend of expectations from delicious local cuisine and world-class wine and to historic old towns like well-known Dubrovnik and Split in Dubrovnik you can see now in a picture. Friendly locals make you feel right at home and the country is known for being one of the safest destinations in Europe. Actually, I think last year there was a, like some kind of research and Croatia was the number one about the safety at night. So that says a lot. It is a place where you can enjoy both adventure and relaxation. Croatia is truly a sailor's paradise, I can say it, because uh, with over 1,200 islands scattered along the its stunning Adriatic coastline and beyond the popular spots like I already mentioned Split and Dubrovnik, you'll find small towns and villages that feel like they're stuck in the past where time moves slower and traditional ways of life are still like uh, preserved. These charming destinations offer a unique glimpse into Croatian history with uh, mostly like cablestone streets and ancient architecture and untouched nature. Croatia's coastline is home to some of the most breathtaking bays and beaches in Europe, from lonely coves to lively beaches, and there is something for every traveler. The Adriatic Sea is perfect for swimming, snorkeling, diving, or simply just relaxing. Whether you'll explore hidden bays, accessible only by boat, or lounging on uh, sun-kissed bubble beaches, Croatia's coastline promise unforgivable moments in a nature's paradise. The Adriatic Sea is so clear that you can see vibrant marine life and beautiful shades of the blue and turquoise, and it's not surprised that Croatian beaches are one of the most popular in Europe, like I always say. The average sea temperature in Croatia varies through the year. In May it's around 17.5 degrees Celsius, and in June it's like 21, 22 degrees, like in September, and it goes down to like 19 and a half in October. Croatia is a land of ancient history and its old towns are living monuments to the best. Dubrovnik with its iconic city walls and medieval charm is often referred to as a pearl of Adriatic. On the islands, small, not so well-known places offer a more intimate glimpse into the country's rich heritage where churches and stone houses have stood the test of time. These historic towns allow visitors to step back into the experience, Croatia culture and legacy 
firsthand. Croatia's cuisine is the delicious blend of Mediterranean flavor and local traditions. Dishes like peka, like you can see in the middle of the picture. It is a slowly cooked octopus or lamb or whatever you can put inside under the bell-shaped lid. Those are like truly taste of the Adriatics. Pershat is a Croatian famous cured dry ham. It is a favorite uh, appetizer often enjoyed with local cheese and olives. And then we have like a fresh fish caught daily. And uh, every meal here is a celebration of fresh local in ingredients and time honored cooking methods preserved from centuries. Croatia has a rich winemaking tradition that dates back thousands of years with over 130 grape varieties from the bold red of Dalmatia like Plavac Mali or Small Blue, actually my favorite wine, to like crisp whites of Istria and Slavonia such as Malvasia for Istria and Graševina for Slavonia. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about diversity of Croatia. Here is the map of uh, Croatia highlighting its diverse uh, regions. So as you can see, we look really strangely on the map. From the coastal beauty of Dalmatia and Istria down on, uh, on the south, to the mountainous landscapes of Lika and Gorski Kotar in the middle, and the fertilized plains of Slavonia on the east side. Each uh, region offers its unique blend of natural beauty, culture and uh, experience, making Croatia a destination with something for every type of traveler. Looking for adventure? Well, today we will dive into the creation offers for thrill seekers and adventurers like you. From uh, hiking mountain trails to exploring hidden coves by kayak, uh, Croatia has endless options. So yeah, get ready to be inspired for the next adventure soon. So now let's talk about the regions of Croatia. So we will start from Istria. And Istria often really does a little slice of Italy in Croatia. It's known for its vineyards, olive gardens, and picturesque towns like Rovin and, and Pula. With both Croatian and Italian as official languages, the region beautifully blends the culture of those two countries, especially in its architecture, cuisine, and the way of life. Then just a little bit more souther, we have a Kavarna Bay with its stunning islands and rich marine life. It's perfect for sailing, diving, like dolphin watching. So uh, those regions offer a unique mix of Mediterranean charm and outdoor adventure. The locals like to say Istria, Terra magic land where according to legend, fairies still dwell. And after spending some time here, you will start to believe in it. Trust me. The morning sweated mists rolling over the vineyards and olive groves, as you can see in the picture, make you feel like you stepped into a, a fairy tale. There is something truly special about this region and uh, captivity is the soul. Real captivity is the soul. Here you can see the map of Istria. The Istria, it is the biggest peninsula in the Croatia, really but the biggest. We have uh, another one, Pelješac, which is here. But Istria is way, way bigger. Istria is a region that has something for everyone. Uh, whenever you're exploring coast towns or hiking through the scenic uh, countryside, the magic peninsula is full of beautiful attraction waiting to be discovered. Most of my guests actually, when they come to Croatia, they also visit the Italy, but maybe there is no reason for it. So we have uh, Italy in small. If you don't have time actually to visit the Rome, don't worry, we have our own, even better preserved amphitheater right here in Pula, as you can see here in the picture. Uh, the magnificent Roman structure is one of the largest and uh, best preserved in the world. Like I said earlier, history is a little slice of Italy, so with its own rich history and stunning landmarks. Visiting the Pula amphitheater, it's like stepping back into ancient Rome, but with the Croatian twist. We also have, for those who are looking for a more relaxed experience, history is perfect for incredible gastronomic offering, I mean, like whole Croatia. Think of it like a, it's a Tuscan in small. Here you can enjoy local truffles, goat cheese, homemade pasta, and of course, world-class wine. It is an ideal destination for the slower paced holiday where you can uh, savor every bite and soak in the beauty of Eastern rolling hills and the vineyards. Now in the picture we have Motovun. Motovun is a cultural and artistic hub rich in history and perches high on the hill with uh, stunning views of uh, the surrounding countryside. This medieval town is home to a community of artists making its creative oasis in uh, Istria. Same like Grožnjans, quite similar town, really close to Motovun actually. 
with its narrow uh, cobblestone streets, ancient walls and charming galleries, Motowun offers a perfect blend of history, culture and art that draws visitors and artists alike. Istria is known for its balance between tradition and modern uh, luxury. It is full of uh, private villas, boutique, hotels and resorts, really high-end resorts and hotels, perfect for those seeking both comfort and privacy. Unlike some of the Croatian more rugged regions, Istria has relatively flat areas, making it more gentle and accessible uh, for exploration. Wherever you are wandering for charming streets of the Robin or uh, relaxing in a modern villa, Istria offers a peaceful escape. So now let's talk about the National Park Brioni, which is located in Istria. Brioni National Park is one of the Croatian's most exclusive and historically rich destinations. This stunning uh, archipelago wants a favorite retreat of global leaders and uh, celebrities because of ex Slavian president Josip Broz Tito. Offers a mix of pristine nature, uh, archaeologic sites and wildlife. There's also a safari that Tito uh, but a lot of animals, it's like a zoo there on the island. Then we have a beautiful Kamenjak nature park located to the southern tip of Croatia. It's actually the last 10 kilometers of Istria, the southern part. It is a true natural wonder. With its rugged coastline, hidden coves, cliffs and crystal clear water, it is a perfect spot for outdoor enthusiasts. Whether you hike, bike, kayak or swim, Kamenjak offers breathtaking lets camps and wildlife. It is a popular destination for clip jumping and snorkeling, making its most visit for adventure looking to explore is just wild life. Then we have a not so known place, Lizhnyan. Lizhnyan holds a special place in my heart because I spent every summer there as a kid. So I spent there like 25 summers in a row. This quiet part of Istria, which is stunning, untouched beaches, as you can see on the picture, offers a peaceful escape from the more crowded spots. It is a perfect place to uh, reconnect with nature and enjoy the serene beauty of Adriatic, just as I did when I was growing up. Then up north, we have Uchka. Uchka Nature Park serves as a natural border between Istria and Kvarner, offering breathtaking views and diverse landscapes. The park is heaven for hikers, climbers and nature lovers with trails leading from the sea level to the highest peak, which is 1,400 meters above the sea level. That's like 4,600 feet and rich biodiversity of unique flora and fauna make Uchka a must visit for those seeking uh, adventure and deep connection with nature and of course the great views from the top. It is a perfect transition point between Istria rolling hills and the dramatic landscape of Kvarners. So now let's switch to a corner. As you can see, it's located like east, east from Istria. Kvarner is a home of beautiful islands like uh, Tres Loshin Krk. And there is one like fun fact. So for many years, we have been teached that Krk is our biggest island, but just recently they found out that uh, Tres is actually the biggest island. It's uh, like 405 square kilometers and it's only half of the square kilometers bigger than the island of Krk. Then we have the uh, island of Loshin. Like each island offers something different. It is a famous for its medical tourism and wellness resorts. Also back in the days uh, when Austro-Hungarians were really here, they built those resorts there and villas. Same like in Opatia. Opatia is on the mainland uh, close to Rijeka. Rijeka is a big port. Opatia is often referred to a uh, Croatian Monte Carlo for its glamorous history and a luxury uh, seaside vibe and all these old villas and hotels, really luxurious ones. Whether you offer relaxation or adventure, Kornei Islands and coastal towns have plenty to offer. And now uh, I would like to switch to Dalmatia. Dalmatia is a home of the majority of Croatian over 1,200 islands and many of my personal favorite ones are found in this region. In this section, we will dive deeper into what makes this coastal region so special and explore some of the most captivating islands. Here we have a map and map of the Dalmatia stretching along the Adriatic coast from Zadar down to Dubrovnik. As you can see, Dalmatia offers a diverse range of landscapes from vibrant cities like Split to peaceful islands and secluded bays. Before we dive into the hard work that goes into shaping Dalmatia, let's talk about the famous Pomalo lifestyle. 
So in Dalmatia, everything happens slowly now these days, and uh, there's no rush. Pomalo, in a local, perhaps uh, that means take it easy. While there is a joke that Dalmatian people are lazy, <laughs> well, they are sometimes, it seems about enjoying life at a slower pace, so they know what they're doing. Soaking in the sun, in the sea, and just the uh, beauty around you, because Dalmatia is really beautiful. But uh, don't be fooled, behind the relaxed lifestyle is a history of incredible hardworking people. Dalmatia's rocky landscapes shows the strength and hard work of its people. In these areas, uh, sheep roam freely, grazing on the sparse vegetation and herbs that grows uh, under tough conditions. The landscape has shaped both the way of life and the character of the Dalmatian people who are known for their strong connection to the land. Behind the Pomalo lifestyle, it's a history of hard work and dedication. These old pictures you can see shows the people of Dalmatia building dry stone walls, cultivating lavender and working in the grey terraces. Generations and generations of Dalmatians have shaped this rugged land through shrewd determination, turning rocky hills into productive hills. The connection to the land is still evident today. In the region's uh, agriculture, wine production, and the beautiful terraces landscapes you see across Dalmatia. Now, did you know that the famous Zinfandel, maybe some of you heard about it, has its roots in Croatia? So, in fact, the original grape variety Crljenak Kastelanski was traced back to Dalmatia. Maybe you heard about Grgic Hills, Miljenko Mike, Mike Grgic, a renovated Croatian winemaker introduced the Zinfandel to California, where it, in fact, uh, the original grape variety is becoming uh, one of the most popular wine varieties in the world. Today, Croatia is reclaiming its wine heritage, and you can taste the autotonic flavors of Zinfandel right here, where it actually all began. Also fishing. Fishing has been the heart of the life of Dalmatia for centuries, shaping both the culture and cuisine of the region. Crystal clear waters of the Adriatic are home of the rich variety of fish and seafood, which Dalmatians have skillfully harvested for generations. Fishing remains vital tradition passed down through families, and it's a key part of the local identity. In this deep uh, connection to the sea that makes Dalmatian cuisine so fresh and unique. One of the best ways to explore the authentic Dalmatian countryside is the riding through the old fields and following the age ancient shepherd trails, paths. These trails take you through the landscape shaped by centuries of hard, hard work where dry stone walls and terraces tell the stories of those people who lived and worked here. Whether by bike or foot or exploring those paths offers a unique connection to the land and glimpse into the timeless beauty of the rural uh, Dalmatia. Now let's switch to the islands. So one of my favorites is Wies, often called the Forbidden Island or Military Island. Until the 1990, it served as a military fort for uh, Yugoslavia and it was closed for the public. Only the locals were allowed to be there. It's really remote, it has really stunning beaches from the locals, and the deep secrets it still holds made the beast truly special destination. The island's hidden past adds a mystery charm, offering a unique blend of history, adventure, and natural beauty. One of the unique experiences you can get here on the island is a military jeep tour, exploring the old tunnels, bunkers, and uh, hidden military sites, giving you a fascinating glimpse uh, into the mysterious past while uh, enjoying the island's breathtaking natural uh, beauty. Beside the military jeep tour, I highly recommend visiting the charming town of Komija, a picturesque fishing village with a rich fishing history and authentic Dalmatian atmosphere. Don't miss the opportunity to explore also some of the stunning beaches and uh, hidden coves. In the off-season, I highly recommend taking the short trip to Bishaw Island, just a few miles from Komija. Uh, one of the must seen attractions were the famous Blue Caves. Natural wonder, a magic experience as the sunlight illuminates through the cave waters, uh, creating a blue glow. With uh, fewer crowds in the off-season, it is a perfect time to enjoy it. This offers a network of old beds that have become our new trails, perfect for exploring the island's stunning landscapes. These trails take you through vineyards, olive gardens, and hidden coves, offering a blend of history and adventure. Now I would like to go more northeast 
to the island of Kvar when taking about the best, we cannot skip the part. The sunniest island in Croatia with an impressive like 2,700 something hours of sunshine per year. Knowing uh, of its nightlife, parties, uh, but also stunning beaches and rich history, of course. Kvar offers something for everyone. Its sun detached uh, vineyards and charming old town makes the must uh, visit destination. The city of Kvar, uh, it is the city's lively center, known for its stunning harbor, historic sites, and uh, nightlife. It's also famous for its subscale atmosphere with world class dining and high uh, energy parties making it top spot for seeking both luxury and, and fun. If you're coming here with a yacht, this is definitely the place where you want to show off. Then on the same island, we have Stadigrad, which literally means old town. And it is actually one of the oldest towns in Europe, offering a quieter and more laid back vibe comparing to city of Kvar. Kvar is like really rich in history and uh, surrounded by UNESCO protected vineyards, uh, plain, Stadigrad plain. It is the perfect spot to explore Dalmatia's ancient past while enjoying the peaceful escape. You can see this car under the streets of Stary Gradius like three years ago. This ancient Roman mosaic is a stunning reminder uh, of the island's rich historic layers. Hidden for centuries gives us a fascinating glimpse into the Roman influence in this part of Croatia. It is a unique archaeologic uh, find that connects the present to the distant past. The southern Part of the island is home of some of the most dramatic landscapes, including the vineyards planted on a steep up to 40 degrees slopes. These challenging conditions combined with the Mediterranean sun reflects from both sea and the rock create some of the island's most high-end wines. Hiking or biking down these steeps, but biking is only for the advanced riders. You will come across several fascinating caves, including one of so large that it houses a church inside. These hidden gems add a sense of mystery and, and history to your adventure, offering a unique blend of nature, beauty, and cultural heritage that uh, few places can match. If you are more souther on the sea level, there is also a popular destination for rock climbing enthusiasts. With uh, rugged cliffs and dramatic sea views, it offers challenging routes for climbers for all levels. The combination of adventure, breathtaking scenery, and the island's nature beauty makes its most visit spot for those looking for experience and thrill of climbing. So, when is the best time to visit the Khwar? I would say definitely it is the main. This picture was taken in May. This is when island truly comes alive with blooming local flora, transforming the landscape into colorful paradise. It is a perfect time to explore Khwar's natural beauty surrounded by flowers and greenery before the summer crowds arrive. Now we will move more northeast to the city of Omish. Omish knows as a pirate city. It is an outdoor adventure mecca, nestled between uh, towering cliffs and the mouth of the Setina River. It is the perfect destination for the thrill seekers. Whether you, you are into via ferrata, rock climbing, free climbing, rafting, canyoning, mountain biking, hiking or zip lining, uh, there's something here for every adventurer. The rugged landscape and the stunning natural surrounding make Omish the perfect base for the adrenaline packed experience. Mount Timber rises just above Omish and it's home to one of the best biking trails in Croatia, actually, my favorite one. The list goes on, we can talk for days basically. We have Zadar, Trogir, Split, Dubrovnik. These are just the bigger cities and we have a lot of more islands, more than a thousand islands. But now we'll switch more north to Slavonia. So not to be confused with Slovenia. It's really similar, but totally different. The Slavonia, it is the region of Croatia. It is the fertile agricultural region in the eastern Croatia. Known for its golden fields, traditional villages and rich cultural heritage. It is a land of hearty cuisine, famous wines and warm hospitality, offering a different side of Croatia that's often overlooked by tourists. And by the way, it is way more affordable. Here on the map, you can see Slavonia and back in the former Yugoslavia, Slavonia was known as a breadbasket of the region. Why? Because they were providing food and agricultural products for the entire country. And even today, Slavonia remains the most important agricultural region in Croatia. 
The region is also famous for its Lipizzaner horses, a symbol of its proud tradition. For uh, nature lovers, Slavonia offers the pristine beauty of Park of Nature, Kopačkirit, a vast wetland themed with wildlife, making it uh, one of the most important ecological sites in, in Europe. Kopačkirit is not only the nature lover's paradise, but also the heaven for the food enthusiasts. And the region is famous for the restaurants serving up the traditional Slavonian cuisine, featuring dishes like freshwater fish stews and specialties, and cured meats such as kulen, uh, kopasica, like sausage, and shunka, or well-known prosciutto, let's say. But way better. <laughs> I mentioned the national parks and Croatia is a home to eight national parks, each offering something unique and totally different from the others. So let me tell you why the, each one is worth exploring. And now uh, here is the tree of the Croatian's breathtaking island, national islands, national parks. Brioni on the first picture, knowing this mix of history and nature, offering a unique blend of wildlife and ancient ruins. In the middle, we have Kornati. With almost 90 islands, it is a sailor's paradise with rugged beauty and crystal clear waters. And then the last picture is Mjet, often called as Green Island. It is a home to dense forest and stunning saltwater lakes. Each park offers its own charm and adventure, making them must-visit destinations. Then we have uh, those three national parks showing uh, Croatian stunning mountainous terrain. Risnjak is a heaven for hikers and wildlife enthusiasts, offering dense forests and panoramic views. Then we have Paklenica, known for its dramatic cliffs and deep canyons, and its top destination for the rock climbs, definitely. And on the first picture, we have North Velabit, with its untouched wilderness, offers a remote, serene experience performance for those seeking solitude in uh, nature. Each park offers a unique way to experience creation diversity landscapes. And then we have uh, Krka and Plitvice lakes. Krka National Parks and Plitvice are the two Croatian most famous national parks. Plitvice are UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is a country's most iconic park with its uh, cascading uh, lakes and uh, turquoise waters. Then Krka, while smaller than Plitvice, is equally beautiful. How to craft the perfect itinerary? Uh, well, by combining the best of Croatia has to offer, see culture, food, activity, history, but honestly, it is impossible. Not in a week. There's just too many amazing options. But if I had to choose, it is all about finding the right balance, combining the freedom of sailing on a catamaran, exploring cultural gems, enjoying delicious local food and staying active while whatever, hiking, biking, climbing, or just having a great way to experience the best of the Croatia. So after about six years, which was two and a half years ago, of working as a guide for a well-known bike and boat company, I realized it can be done way, way better because we still have tours with uh, up to 35 people. We are not so flexible and exclusively. That's when I decided to start developing my own tours. Sometimes life puts you in the right place in the right time. A chance encouraged in Omish in 2021 led me to meet Victor and Peritza, the founders of 57 Hours. And from there, things started to take shape. A perfect day in Croatia. Uh, well, imagine waking up on a Turkish cove, on a catamaran, the sun uh, shining on the calm Adriatic waters, starting the morning with a delicious traditional breakfast on board, followed by a refreshing dive straight into the sea. It is an ultimate way to experience the beauty of uh, Croatian coastline. Then after the refreshing swim, we set off for a ride along uh, some of the Croatian's most scenic trails, biking through breathtaking landscapes from coastal paths to inland routes. You will experience the natural beauty of the country up close and while staying active and exploring hidden, hidden gems along the way. Then on the way, we have a well-deserved lunch in a traditional Konoba, a rustic tavern offering authentic local dishes. We descend back to boat after the lunch, loading up the bikes and unwind. The day ends perfectly with a peaceful dinner in the middle of a beautiful cove, enjoying great food and stunning views as the sun sets over the Adriatic.
Well, if you're not a mountain biker, no worries. We can tailor the adventures to your preference whenever you want to explore by cycling, hiking, rock climbing, or even combination of everything. Whenever your activity level will make sure you experience the best of the creation has to offer. We can organize activities like rafting, diving, or even, like I mentioned, the Jeep tour as a fun rest day from the main adventures. Our uh, island hopping concept offers a truly unique experience. Imagine spending the same day in a different locations with a luxurious catamaran serving as a moving hotel, so you don't need to pack every day. With a brand new catamaran, we offer flexibility in the interiority tailored to what people wish for. The variety of options at each stop makes every trip different and unique. I don't remember that I had two trips the same way, like probably never. And of course, we always adopt uh, to what the weather allows, uh, ensuring a safety and uh, enjoyable journey. Our catamaran is designed for comfortable and adventure trip. It uh, features six cabins, but four spacious cabins for guests, each equipped with a queen-size bed uh, along with a separate toilet and shower. The catamaran is fully equipped with AC, generator, water maker, coffee machine, ice maker, and everything you can imagine like in a normal hotel. So there's no need to dock in a port every day. We can stay out at the sea as long as we will. But of course, we can also go in a port if you want to do. Basically, we start with one day in a port, one day in a bay, and then clients see what they like, what they prefer, and we can do the combination or basically we usually do the combination of both. Every day we prepare a rich breakfast and uh, four times we, during the trip, we serve lunch or a dinner on boat and everything else, it's outside the boat. And of course, yes, we have a dinghy and we have a snorkeling equipment, we have a paddle boards and yes, we sail, probably you wanted to ask. We sail whenever we have time and a good wind, we put the sails up and we sail. And now some practical tips. So when you're coming to Croatia, if you want to really explore around, uh, I suggest you to rent a car. You can rent a car in all bigger places and airports. And also the Uber works in bigger cities. About the food and the restaurants. So don't just go in the first restaurant you see when you come to, let's say, city center. I wouldn't say it's a tourist trap, but you can find way, way better places like hidden somewhere. You just need to ask locals or as, as the guide, as the recommendation. As we are a tourist country, there's a lot of options. So my suggestion is also to check the Google reviews, the most recent ones. And I highly, highly, highly recommend you to avoid July and August if you want to avoid big crowds and high temperatures. The shoulder season in Croatia are equally spectacular, trust me, even better. The temperatures in Croatia are generally mild in the winter, pleasant in the shoulder season, off season and hot in summer. Average temperature in the winter, uh, it's between 5 to 15 degrees. And the sea temperature in the off season, those months I already told you are like from 17, 18 to 22, 23. So really nice temperature. Also, the uh, important thing in Croatia, the cash. The cash still works a lot here in Croatia. A lot of times, some small places, they just don't accept credit cards. And if you want to really enjoy Croatia, bring cash. Of course, there's a lot of ATMs so you can withdraw. And uh, one fun fact, for example, a couple of years ago, it happened on, on uh, the local told me on Island of East, there was no electricity for two days and people who didn't have cash, they couldn't pay, but locals trust them. So they, those tourists who didn't have cash, they were just eating and they, they paid in a couple of days later when the electricity came. So always be sure that you have cash with yourself.